Hi, hey, it's Sexy J. Welcome to Quick and Dirty. We're back better than ever. We're going to go through every single SAT reading passage type in three minutes. So I wrote the numbers here, one, and then two, four, and a three, five. Why? Because passage number one is always going to be the literary narrative. Okay, that's set in stone. That's just how it is, okay? Passages two and four, these are interchangeable. These are going to be what I call the social passages. Okay, and within those, we have the historical, and then we have the current. So there is no pattern to which one's going to be two, which one's going to be four. Two and four, they're going to be social. One of them historical, one of them the current, okay? And passage three and five, these are both going to be science. And really, the only difference is going to be one of them is going to have a table or a chart. The other one's not going to have a table or a chart, but the content is the same. So that's the overall structure of the SAT. Now, let's get into the details of this a little bit. And again, I will make more detailed videos on each one of these types. Today, I'm doing an overview so you know what I'm talking about when I use this terminology. The literary narrative is the first passage. And for these, you have to remember, whatever the character says is not maybe the literal truth. So their characters could be lying. They could be weird. They could be sarcastic, et cetera. And also, a very common theme in these passages is uh, heritage and family, and you know that these have to be wholesome. So if it's a passage about, my Chinese family makes this ink. Our ink is amazing, I am very proud of it, is the way that it has to go, okay? And anything else about the literary narrative? For these, um, you also wanna be open to the idea that they can be a little bit depressing. This is the difference from the ACT. ACT, all the passages are pretty wholesome. SAT, there have been around three to four passages that I've seen all, out of all the tests out there that were kinda sad, but for those, they were either white male, uh, male characters or wealthy white people, okay? So the SAT is never going to touch upon any group that could potentially be problematic in terms of portraying in a negative light because SAT is a clever organization. And two and four are social. These are the most important historical. I'm going to circle this one. I'm going to make a whole dedicated series about you need to know the historical topics. You need to know it ahead of time because the language here is going to be very difficult. They're going to be from 1700, 1800s, political philosophy. That's pretty heady stuff. So I'm going to give you guys like a breakdown of every single historical topic from around the 1720s to the 1960s that SAT likes to use. That sounds like a lot, but you can be done in a video if it's me, okay? So you're gonna already know what is Martin Luther King's uh, argument, what is uh, Abraham Lincoln, what is uh, Evan Burke. You're gonna already know the argument before you read it. That's how you do that one. The current social, this is the most repetitive one. This is the one that people improve the most. These are going to be, we would think human brains are logical, but it turns out we are not, we are irrational illogical, we're more emotional, is how those go. And then the sciences are really just, for whatever reason, I think the scientific information is cool. Why is it cool? Number one, people usually think this, or we used to think, think this. However, recent studies show otherwise. Number two, we um, did not expect this to happen because do you think plants can talk? We don't think that, but it turns out plants can talk, right? So that's the second scenario. And number three is that we've been trying to prove this for a long time, but we couldn't get the evidence because we had to do something really difficult. But this one person or a group of people came up with a clever solution to it and they accomplished getting evidence for it. So that's the science, guys. Either it goes totally against conventional wisdom or it's like, wow, that's cool. Plants can talk. Or, wow, how did you manage to do that? That seemed really difficult. So those are all the passages on the SAT reading, guys. We will do dedicated quick and dirty and long and deep on each passage type. So stay tuned for all the videos coming back better than ever, guys. Study every day with Sexy J, the best way. See you guys.